Hey all, um, so in this particular video, I am going to show you how to install Olama, uh, use the models and use continue.dev to do that local AI setup that we spoke about, right? So um, let me quickly show you how you can download or install Olama model. So simply search for olama.com and or you can directly go to the website you can search and just click on this download button you will get mac os linux or windows depending on all your operating system you can choose which one you want to download right for linux you'll get something like this shell script and for mac you will get a downloader also in mac you can um, use the homebrew also uh, using which you can install okay so once downloaded and installed you will get some icon like this if you have used the installer so this is like you know your olama is running fine and now or for the or models. So what you can do is you can click on these models. Okay, these are all the models. Let me open my terminal quickly. Um, let me clear this one. And here, Olama, you when you want to start the server, no, if you have done you with uh, uh, let's say the homebrew version, right? And if this icon is not there, you have to do just Olama serve and in, keep that window open. It will keep this your Olama server running, right? Um, okay. Other than that. Uh, you can go to models tab as I explained and download any models. So let's say I'm going on Gemma 3. So for this Gemma, you can see all different billions parameters models are available, different variations. So 1 billion model parameter is 815 MB, 4 billion is 3.3, 12 billion is 8.1, and 27 billion is 17 GB, right? And you can use this command particularly whenever you want to run something. Um, so when you Quickly, let's say, for example, I want to run this 4 billion model, right? I think my RAM only will support that much only. It will change here. Let me copy and I'll just paste it here. Okay, Olama run Gemma 4B. It's not there in my system right now. So what will happen? It will start downloading it. It will first see, or, or maybe I think I have downloaded it. Uh, I also forgot. So I think Gemma 3, 4B is available, right? So you can directly see, hi, what's up? Here, RAM and all those things or usage also you can see. So you can see it's working in your local system, fine. And uh, control D will quit from it, right? Now, uh, how many models do you have in your system? If if you want to check that, let's do Olama LS. Okay, so I have these many models available in my system. Uh, Quen for autocomplete, Nomic for embedding, and DeepSeq also I have, and another for embedding and Llama. Okay, so these many models are there. Uh, for our continued dev setup, you need to have one LLM like uh, DeepSeq or Llama, one embedding model, either Nomic or uh, MXBA, or and for autocomplete, you need Quen or any similar mod models. So, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so this is it. And now your Olama local setup is done. Fine. Now what you want to do, you open any of your project. Let's say this is the open source project, which I downloaded, uh, which is Piggy Metrics. I downloaded from uh, GitHub itself. Now cloned from GitHub, right? And in IntelliJ IDEA, I installed a plugin called as continue.dev. You can install, just double shift and search for plugins and go to marketplace. Here, just search for continue.dev. You should be able to see this. Okay, and just install it. I think that should be it. Okay, great. Uh, now, after this, this icon will appear, this continue.dev. You need to configure which model you want to use. And for that, you need to edit the config.json. How you can do? Click on the settings icon. And here you will be able to see this local config and open config file. Right. So you can see here for models, look, the multiple sections are there, first of all. Model section, where you will write the models that you want to use. Okay. I have used Llama 3.1 and provider is Olama. Then for tab auto completion, I used Quen. And for embedding, uh, Nomic is used. Okay, then different context provider is there. Like, you know, what do you want to refer? Code, documents, any diff, git diff, your terminal, um, problems in IntelliJ, you have something called as problems also, folder, entire code base. You can have other context also, which you can see probably from a continue.devs documentation. And then a couple of slash commands are there. Like, you know, you can generate a directly commit with slash commit. I'll also show you how you can do that. Okay, great. Now, what I want to do is, uh, after configuring this particular thing, you will be able to see, ask anything or uh, add to add a context, right? So for example, I want to see what this particular admin service IMPL file does. This is a good, I mean, only two, three methods are there, but yeah, let's understand what it does, right? So you just refer to this file. Hey, uh, can you please explain me uh, what at, at means it will refer to file. And what is the file name? Account service IMPL does. Okay, enter. Right now I'm using Llama, fine. 
look one context also came this is the context which it took it doesn't know about this code beforehand right after we gave it it started doing this okay so now it's saying this 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 is there entire explanation is there right okay uh, accountability is there and this 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 okay great now what i'll do is i let's see how many things are there find by name is there create is there and save changes is there what if i want to delete something what uh, okay let's let's see it ask it like this can you please create delete user method here okay now i'm you remember i am doing this thing in the chat window okay so all the things that it does it will do in chat window look it created entire method everything locally right and it gave me the comments also like you know what it it is doing and why it is doing etc etc fine okay now other than this what i can do is i can click here and uh, let's see whether it can do you, you see this is it's doing delete account this is auto completion model this is done by quinn let me just press tab nothing else tab okay it did automatically it used auto complete model tab tab oh, sorry i pressed q by mistake tab tab done right so you got the idea how it works uh, i am right now not checking for the correctness of this thing i am just showing you the demo it, it is correct only but i am just showing you the demo fine okay now what i want to do is uh, let's say uh, if i select this part okay and i will edit it in the same window i am not going to do in command window that we are discussing right now i want to do here only i'll just press command i and i'll ask here can you please be polite to ai otherwise you don't know what skynet it will do to you tomorrow can you please update the comments uh or add more details let's enter okay i ha huh, you see yep it is editing so it's kind of agentic in a way also you see enter things it it started writing everything so yep this green part is something that it added let me minimize this thing and let me minimize this thing also right yeah so this is how it can edit your files also fine everything again in local okay let me just do command z only uh, i just don't want to keep anything right now oh, by the way if you wanted to do let me do command z also you can accept all or you know do something like accept all it will do whatever things you accepted right let me do command z quickly now what i want to quickly show you is a test case is something that how you can generate so let's say i just selected this thing okay selected this method and now i am pressing command j okay and i am selecting this portion and i am asking can you please write don't forget please <laughs> j unit test case for this done okay now it created a j unit for this thing you see it's fast my local system is just 16 gb and it is old system it's not even m4 or something latest it is m1 pro old one and 16 gb ram that's it great you see yep okay now let me show you that instead of llama if you want to use uh, deep seek how you can do that so instead of llama uh, i'll uh, a simple thing is you can just edit the config.json open config file right and let's see how many models do i have so i'll just do olama ls i have these many models i'll just select this particular model deep seek okay and title i can uh, change to deep seek okay deep seek and here i can uh, paste this thing the model that should be exactly what the identifier of the model is okay then saved back and let's start a new chat so now you see here deep seek is there now the advantage of deep seek is it is more accurate because it is a reasoning model okay if you might have seen uh, recently the uh, nvidia's jensen wang's presentation he showed the difference between llama and deep seek also in detail so for some queries llama used only 415 tokens and deep seek used 9000 token for the same but the output was llama was wrong and deep seek was right so it's reasoning model it keeps thinking if you have patience if you are uh, dealing with some critical problem deep seek is a better one but you need to be patient okay i'll show you what do i mean by that let me ask again same same question okay can you 
प्लीज राइट टेस्ट केस फॉर और और लेट मी सिलेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर मेथड ओके कमांड जे ओके कैन यू प्लीज राइट टेस्ट केस फॉर सिलेक्टेड कोड आल्सो एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस इन डिटेल ओके आई जस्ट प्रेस एंटर नाउ रिमेंबर दिस इज डीप सिक दिस इज नॉट लामा ओके सो इट्स अ रीजनिंग मॉडल इट विल स्टार्ट थिंकिंग and now if you just stay on this page no this thinking will keep happening but why it's taking time you just expand it you can see what it's thinking okay i need to write test case for this thing the method is this first we'll try to understand then it will do things okay so this will take a while deep seek model right but the output will be much more coherent and much more useful the only trade off is you need to be a little bit patient with the output okay and i think it's better to use these things for uh, the scenarios where uh, it's like you know you need more reasoning for simple scenarios i think this is not required only lama will be helpful okay cool uh now if i collapse this thinking part you see it thought for 34 seconds and now it started writing the actual final answer so you see test 1 it is explaining <clears throat> excuse me everything um uh, what it's doing why it's doing entire test all those things right cool so this is how you can uh, use multiple models in this one and also let me quickly show you that for example let me go into this config file if you want to two models no you can simply copy this thing okay and uh, paste it here and <clears throat> let me call this model i forgot the llama's thing so let me call it llama 3.1 and for this model i need to have the correct signature so i'll just go llama ls uh, i think already it is there right so let me take this latest one and let me paste it here so now you have the option to choose from in the drop down so if i go to the new chat now i can either choose deep seek or llama depending on whatever you want to use okay cool one last important thing uh, if you want to measure how fast this is doing right first of all i think uh, it stopped and now what i can do is i can do uh, verbose thing so verbose if i go in terminal now it will tell you how much token it's generating and all those things so llama run let's say llama 3.1 only right you can chat with it in terminal okay um just a minute i want to do it with but verbos verbos okay hey what's up look now it will tell you how many tokens it is generating per second that is 20 around 27 26 27 tokens and that's how it's uh, you know total duration load duration prompt eval count all those things you will be able to see here so this is how you can uh, benchmark it and this is a decent I, i i will not say this is fast but it is not also slow it's not unusable you can use it easily as i already showed you in the look uh, this different things right so yeah and also you will have the history of all the things that you had today this month i have used it for multiple things right So yeah, I hope this is helpful, and uh, please feel free to reach out to me for any doubts or anything that you want to ask further. Uh, I keep continuously, you know, do researching and finding on these things. I'll be more than happy to share my learnings with all of you. Thank you. Yep. Take care. Bye bye.